a YouTube quick video uh, to talk about a, a topic that I think is interesting and it's shoulder injury. Uh, so if you're interested in uh, the human anatomy and the way injury occurs, I think this is going to be something that you should pay attention to. So we talk a lot about shoulder injuries. Shoulder injuries are very prevalent in the bodybuilding, powerlifting, athletic sphere. And the reason why is because the shoulder is quite fragile. It's not fragile in the way it is constituted. It is fragile because its range of motion is limited and the rotation of the shoulders modify the range of motion you can go through. This is why people say that going behind the neck when you do a press is bad for your shoulder. You've never heard anyone tell you that doing an overhead press with a deep starting position on the chest is bad on the shoulder. And yet doing the same behind the head is bad. Why? Because the difference is that here and here, there is a completely different rotation in the shoulder girdle and the shoulder position, right? So when you do it behind the head, the shoulder is not in, the, in a position that can, can sustain the range of motion, the deep range of motion. So what people mean when they talk about shoulder injury is always going to be a structural injury. There is a very interesting study that I read. Uh, it's not in English, but if people are interested, I can link it, which showed that out of 400 lifters that had shoulder injury, only two had muscle injury, meaning that there was a muscle tear. There was a tear in the muscle belly. The tear was always on the front delt. So two out of 400, 388 people who had shoulder injuries had structural injury, either to the rotator cuff or to the AC joint, which tells you what? It's not possible, it's almost impossible to hurt your shoulder when doing presses, vertical presses or compresses, push-ups, in the sense that what's going to give, it's never the muscle because the three heads of the shoulders are very resilient. What's going to give, it's what's underneath. It's what they're connected to. It's the rotator cuff and it's the AC joint. Um, for the anecdote, the two people who managed to hurt their front delts and tear the front delt of the bone were people who were doing keeping pull-ups. So keep that in mind when you do pull-ups, don't keep. Um, and all of the others were people who suffered injuries because of flaring of the elbow when they pressed, overuse injuries of doing too much horizontal press, or people who did behind the neck press. So this is all scientific health talk, if we can even call it that, about shoulder health. Uh, there should be shoulder related prevention injury in the prevention injury prevention playlist. So check them out if you're interested. Let me know what you think in the comments and have a good day.